Good morning and welcome to the vlog, the first vlog in the new house. The first start of the new vlog, I should say, in the new house. The C5 is looking good. Wrapped the door last night, getting there, really getting better with the whole wrapping thing. Um, although I am having some trouble getting it to bend around the scene there, the edge of the door. But either way, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video from last night. Uh, it was a huge moment for me moving in here. Still is a big moment. Hasn't really fully hit me yet, I think although it is kind of setting in here over time. And uh, you know, like I said, in that upload, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. But like I said, in that video, you know, super thankful to finally have my dream home, my dream garage. And you know, this is the start of something really cool for the channel as well. So, um, you know, just to cover some other things, uh, I am going to paint the walls in even brighter white, gonna do the floors, and uh, the 17Z06 is gonna be right here as soon as it's ready. And that's what we are going to check on today. So. Let's go to InChain Designs. Now, the only question is, will she start on the first try? And I saw a comment in last night's video that said, you know you drive a Chevy when you say that, which I thought was clever. I gotta give it to you on that one. Nope. There we go. Not because it's a Chevy, but because it has some type of problem that I will figure out eventually. V6 Mustang and V6 Ranger. And we're inside. I'm not pointing the camera over there because that's where the C7 is and the wrap looks fucking awesome. Oh my god. What do you think, dude? Best wrap yet? Yeah. Do you think so? I keep getting better, man. Oh, the matte finishes. Perfect. Good call on that. Good call on that. Looks sick. Shane, you're doing a hell of a job, buddy. Thanks, bro. I'm trying to hold the camera so that none of it is shown. <laughs> you're not showing it? Not yet. Good. Fuck no, dude. Not yet. Dude, that's awesome. This is my buddy Evan. Now, we went to high school together. Howdy. So to give people a little background, what's your football career? Um... Obviously played football in high school, Central Dolphin. Yep. Won a state championship. Uh, got a full ride scholarship to Penn State. Uh, 13 all Big Ten, won a Big Ten championship. Fucking savage. Last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now I'm actually I'm on IR right now. Uh, As we can I see. Broke my foot, but uh, yeah, I'm with the, the New York Giants. So with the I New York Giants. Two days ago, decided to make my first big purchase. So. This thing is fucking awesome, by the way. 2018 alarm. Absolutely gorgeous, and your favorite part as well as mine that I noticed, oh, the copper accent. Absolutely. God, like, I didn't even know that was an option, but look at them all up in the front. This thing is fantastic. You're making me wish that I had some type of, like, luxury daily. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because I look at this and it I'm like, God. This or I was going to get a Scat Pack Charger, but... Well, you had, a, you had a Challenger before, yeah, right? Yeah, a Challenger. I mean, it was only a six-cylinder. Got me from A to B, but just a little bit, just man. A just bit. a little bit. <laughs> this is the coolest part right here. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? I love that. You can just have the key in your pocket. So, say if I just want to get in my own door, uh -huh. I can press this one and only this door will open. But if, say, there's other people on the side, if you press this one, We can, we'll edit it. <laughs> you gotta put that in there. There we go. There we go. So you push another one. Yeah, so you have to push that, that one will open all four of them. All of them. Yeah. The center, the, the console, and it's so sophisticated. It's absolutely incredible. Look at that. I like the uh, the pattern on the dash too. Yeah. I thought about going with all black, but mm. it just didn't. We did that. because it's like, like the oh, piano man, black finish. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably drive that every day. <laughs> You'll do it? Pat and Tim will do it. Pat and Curtis will do After it? After hours. 
Are you serious? Yeah. You guys will do the C5 for me? Yeah. As long as you come here to help. Yeah, I will. Okay. And I'll pay you. Yeah. All right, so, to, so tomorrow. Yeah. All right, it's tomorrow, settled. Tuesday, Wednesday. So tomorrow, we're picking up the C7. I'm dropping off the C5. And I will help you guys wrap it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. And then I kill myself. Probably. Yep, you got the mirrors, you got the front bumper, and you got the rear taillights. <laughs> All Shane ever says is, dude, that's gonna suck, and then walks away. <laughs> Fuck you, Shane. <laughs> well, we are back at home here in the new garage, and my apologies for the 17Z06 not being done. Shane was hoping to have it done, but we're down to just the front bumper. So the car is coming along really well, and again, this wrap is, is insane. I really hope that you guys like it. I think that you will. It's uh, pretty goddamn cool, and it is similar to the Duramax that I can tell you similar to the Duramax, but probably not what you were thinking. So don't think that you know, because I bet you don't. With that being said, I'm going to answer some more questions from the Q&A last night. I'm gonna try to get to ones that I didn't get to while I wrap the Corvette. That's right, can I multitask, wrap the door, and answer questions at the same time? Should be interesting, but I wanna show you guys some more behind the scenes stuff with the little Corvette project here. I'm trying to get everything done in time for the YouTube call out coming up in eight days. We are down to eight days uh, before this event happens, which is, I just can't even believe it because you know you start like two weeks out, or sorry, two months out planning stuff, and you're thinking, oh, I got plenty of time, like everything will be squared away way before that time comes, and then sure as shit, you are scrambling to get everything you wanted to get done at the last minute. But uh, you know the event's gonna be great. If you can make it, definitely come out. Myself, Nick, Troy, Dirty Max, Jack, Andy, Salamandran, Cletus, Parker, tons of people are gonna be there. And uh, it's something that you uh, should definitely attend again if you can. So let's get to it. Benny 5858, what do you think about the Ram Rebel concept truck? Uh, the Ram Rebel concept truck. I don't even know about the Ram Rebel concept. I know about the actual Ram Rebel. Uh, I don't know, I think Dodge has some pretty cool trucks though. Uh, Bearded Blunder 4, what backpack are you using? The backpack that I use is from 511 Tactical. Christian B61, when you gonna stop clickbaiting? Love the videos, hate the titles. I will stop clickbaiting when clickbaiting stops working. Actually, BOB, would you do a tug of war with Andy, like with your Duramax? So oh, I thought you meant Andy and I out in like a mud pit or something tugging on a rope. I would not hook up my truck to Andy's truck for a couple of reasons. Number one, his 3500 is much heavier than my truck, and he also has six wheels, whereas I have four. So if I were to do a tug of war, uh, I would lose, and not only would I lose, but I would also probably injure my truck. CJ Forever 504, thoughts on putting a supercharger on a 2016 Silverado for a daily driver? Uh, as long as you're not going crazy with the boost and tune, I feel like you could daily drive a supercharged Silverado might be kind of fun. One bad Z06, why drag racing versus road racing? Well, drag racing is fun to me. I would love to go on a road course like I've said many times. The problem is availability. Uh, the, nearest, the nearest road course is like three hours away. The nearest drag strip is about an hour away and there's a couple of them around. So it's just easier to drag race. Matt and Cotty, would you sign one of my Corvettes if I brought it to one of your events? Sure. Samson Superco, favorite car that you've you don't currently own and haven't owned. That would be a Lamborghini Aventador. Park Willman, what car are you going to use to race against Garrett Cletus McFarland? I will be using the 2017 Z06. Rob Jakim, where is the green car? Do an update. The green car is once again in storage and it is in fact the Volkswagen Corrado. Really rad redneck. How long have you had your Dirty Max? I've had the Dirty Max about three years. Keating's 26, when are Shane and Curtis going to quit slacking on the C7. We want to see it, man. They should be done tomorrow morning. Uh, originally, it was going to be done this evening, and I lost my goddamn space. Cade Weilers, why don't you have a motorcycle or four-wheeler? Oh, and if you decide, Banshee is a must. Uh, I don't really have enough land to go four-wheeling. I live in a neighborhood, even before. Um, you know, I, I think they're cool, but I don't, I don't have enough space to do that. Chank, stop. Will you ever get a 1970 Chevelle? I will not. <laughs>
you go, the door is pretty much done. Took about 45 minutes, so I just have to uh, trim the edges, tuck it around the side of the door, obviously do the top of the window, trim it, and then put it around the mirror. But you can see I'm actually getting pretty good at it. 45 minutes for a full door, pretty much on there, not too many scratches and uh, you know little marks on it and everything. He approves, doing pretty good. He loves the chin, it's his favorite thing, scratching the chin. Now that the door is just about done, we're gonna finish up with one last question here. I'm going to pick a good one, and I'm sorry I didn't do too much in today's video. Again, I've just been you know, crazy busy with the move, almost settled in, and the C7 wrap reveal is tomorrow, which is going to be just nuts. You guys are gonna love that, and uh, you know, prepping for the call out. I've been very busy, but at the same time as being busy, it's not anything like great for the vlog. You know, It's not anything great to film, so it's been kind of, uh, kind of shitty. But let's pick a good one here. My friend and I are starting a YouTube channel. Do you have any tips? Well, I've answered this question before, but mainly, you know, the, the best thing I can say is just to have fun with it. You know, some people get so caught up in what type of videos am I gonna make and are they gonna get views and what should I film and what camera should I get and what editing software and really none of that matters. You know, I film with a GoPro and the free downloadable GoPro studio that isn't even supported by GoPro anymore, but I still use it. And that's what I've been doing since day one. And it works for me. Some people have a camera set up that costs 10 grand. Some people film a Corvette. Some people film a Lamborghini. Some people film Hondas. Some people film Miatas. As you can see, you know, it doesn't really matter what you film as long as you have a positive outlook on things and you keep people entertained. And that's all I try to do. And having catchy titles and thumbnails. I know about the clickbaits and all that, but the reality is it works. And what a lot of people call clickbait is really just an exaggeration. Thumbnails that attract attention and good music in the vlog and uh, good editing, you know, don't have a lot of dead air time where you're not saying anything or doing anything. Those are kind of my tips. But clearly I am not an expert, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. But I hope that you enjoyed this upload. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.